All right, so while I was recording the second video of the day, I got a sandwich action from Jersey Mike's. It's $5.95 for, I believe, 1.4 miles. Let's go. All right, we just got some pyology action. It's not a good order. It's $5.19 for 1.9 miles, but I'm going to take it because it's 11.19, and this is only the second decent order I've gotten all day, so let's go. All right, guys, change of plans. We're actually going to go get some burrito action. I was at the pyology, but no one acknowledged me, and this order is $5.50, which is a few cents more than uh, my previous order, and it's only one item, so uh, we'll go knock this out. Let's go. Yo, what the heck, DoorDash? They sent me this order twice. The first time it was only this line. Now they sent me the same order again with this line over here. I'm not taking a $5 for 5.4 mile order. That is not happening. All right, here we go. I just got a $15.16 5.1 mile double order for Jersey Mike's. Let's go. It's 11.50, so I'm not going to be able to drop off these two orders before 12. So sadly, I also got a PDQ order. Hold on, what is this? five dollars and fifty cents 2.7 that's 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 pretty trash i ended up only making hold on let me decline this order i only ended up making eleven dollars and 45 cents this hour and that's with not even being picky there's just not many orders to go around there's just too many drivers not enough orders but let's go to jersey mike's and get these two let's go another one all right, guys, just dropped off both of those orders. It is 12.08 p.m., so we do have a little bit of a drive back to the plaza. While I'm driving back to the plaza, though, I do want to mention that I do have another video on my second channel, Mushy. It goes over how much I actually make from YouTube advertisements, like monetization from YouTube. If you guys are interested in that, the link is down in the description. And if you want to subscribe to that channel, I would be very grateful. Now let's go get another order. Let, hey man, I'm trying to talk. Let's go. All right, we just got another sandwich action from Jersey Mike's in. This one is only $5, but it is 0 0.6 miles. I'm willing to lower my standards, uh, at least if I'm taking a $5 order, right? $5. 0 0.6 miles. I don't think that's a bad order. I think I could knock this order out pretty fast. And on top of that, we did a $15 order. So 15 plus 5 is... $20 and it's 12.29 right now so if I can knock this order out fast come back and get another order we can make over $20 this hour so let's go alright no drop off action for that order this order was actually going to the bank that was right down the street from the plaza I'm literally look I'm not even gonna turn the camera well actually we just got another order hold on now y'all look at oh no that's that's garbage wow there are orders that I'm open to taking and then there are orders that uh, just are downright garbage anyway so this is where i was sitting right over here right here i know this guy probably thinks i'm recording him i'm not recording well technically i am right here i pull into right here and i sit right around here i would be sitting on the other side but if you can see all those cars over there too many people over there man i, wa I don't want to get blocked in but yeah the order was down there now i'm back here let's go man y'all see that greenery right there it's all green, man. You know what else is green? Money. We just got another $10.60, 2.6 mile sandwich action from the Jersey Mike's. Let's go. On the way to Jersey Mike's, I did get a stack for an additional $3.50 for 1.2 miles. I went ahead and declined that because I don't pick up trash bags. I only pick up big ballers, man. Now we're only two miles away from this customer. Let's go drop it off. Look at these houses, man houses are so nice you can't be doing no DoorDash if you're working for DoorDash you are not living here <laughs> so I just got another stack from Uber Eats it is a chicken salad chick and a uh, tropical smoothie it's $15 going six miles but the thing is it's not even gonna be six miles because I'm on the way back to the plaza now so this should be about uh, another $15 five mile order which is great for me it's 1258 so hopefully I can knock this order out pretty quickly come back to the plaza and get one more before I go home for lunch yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. 
All right, guys, I'm going to be ending lunch here. It's 1.22. I'm really close to my girlfriend's parents' house, and I needed to do some stuff over there. Um, I have absolutely no idea how much we made because if we look right here, I'm waiting on three, technically four tips from Uber Eats, and uh, I just don't know how much is going to be total, and usually I give the wrong amount anyway. So the total I've made for lunch is right here on the screen. Yes, we did. Either we did average, we did good, we did great. I think that we did pretty good. I mean, we took uh, some pretty good double orders on Uber Eats today. So I'm hoping that we made some good money, but I'm gonna have to see in a few hours But other than that, I'm gonna stop by my girlfriend's parents house to get something done And then I'm gonna go home and I will see you guys at five o'clock Wiggy 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 money So this is not usually the place where I sit when I get an order I just got to the plaza. It's 458 and I got some chicken action. It was six dollars and eighty three cents for I think 2.2 miles So that's not a bad start at all. Let's go get some chicken I don't know how good it's gonna look on this camera, but if you can see the clouds over there, they're really dark. But over here, they're really light, except all the way down there in St. Pete. When it rains, it always comes from St. Pete. But I do have a little bit of time right now. I'm not on an order. I just dropped off the uh, Chick-fil-A one. I wanted to say two things. Uh, number one, yesterday I asked you guys if I was being too picky with some of the orders uh, that I was declining and that I was taking. And uh, it was half yes that I was being too picky and half of you guys said no I wasn't being too picky so that didn't help me out at all <laughs> the second thing is while I was dropping off the Chick-fil-a order I got a Walgreens order uh, it said something like Walgreens front end OD I think something like that uh, and all it said was DoorDash pay two dollars and fifty cents not not any included expected tip it literally just said 250 so that's pretty garbage. I don't know. I don't know who's gonna go all the way to Walgreens to pick up an order there and then drop it off for two dollars. Good luck to that customer. But I don't think it was the customer's fault though. I, like that's what I like. Like because it didn't say includes expected tip. It just said DoorDash pay. So I don't know if the customer had the option to tip. Uh, I don't know. I I don't I don't want to risk that for a cash tip. So I only take what's shown. Like if the face value is good or at least decent, I'll take the order. But if the face value is a no tip order, you know, there's a bunch of other drivers ready to uh, take that order, man. We just got a Boston Market order on Grubhub. It's eight dollars eighty nine cents. I'm gonna do the same thing that happened to me last time. I'm gonna go to Boston Market. If the order is not ready and she says it's gonna be like a fifteen to twenty minute wait, I'm gonna accept another order on either DoorDash or Uber Eats. Do that order first, then go back to Boston Market. But I really hope the order is ready, man. I really hate walking in there and having to drive away and then drive back. I, I, Boston Market really needs to figure their system out, man. I feel like all of the people that got fired from Wendy's went ahead and got a job at Boston Market. They probably, the hiring process was something probably like, hey, why do you want to work here? Just got fired from Wendy's, you're hired. Oh my, 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 my God, bro, my God, my guy who was fixing my order stopped like three times in the middle of making it to uh, do other things. Like, bro, just put the food in the bag. All of the food was just sitting there. Just put it in the bag. Like, I, I, I did not wrong my men at all. I'm patient when I'm in restaurants. That's just terrible service, Boston Market. That is just terrible service. All right, well, it is starting to rain, and it's going to only get worse from here. But today we are prepared. Tropical Storm Fred, you will not stop me today from securing the sack. You might, though, if it starts raining really, really bad. But uh, if it just continues like this, this shouldn't be too bad. Wait, the rain isn't coming from St. Pete. It's coming from the beach. Because over here, I'm going back towards the plaza. It's not raining. But back where I was, closer to the beach, it was raining a bunch. So that means uh, I got a little bit of time to try to pick up another order before it starts pouring rain down here, too. Come on now. Look at this. Here we are again in the rain. Look at this. $4.50, 1.6 miles. 10 items from Panda Express. You have got to be joking me. This has to be like $200 worth of food for a $2 tip. All right, we got some more Pyology Pizzeria action. I think it was like $7.91 for 2.6 miles. Let's go. That customer was very eager to get his pizzas and Dr. Pepper. As soon as I pulled into the driveway, I see the door open. And at that point, it's like, well, I'm not even gonna try recording it because he's already walking to my car. And could you imagine? I don't know what would happen. What do you guys think would happen if one day I just got caught recording my drop-off? You think a customer would be like, 
upset? You think they'd be confused? Well, on the way back to the plaza, we got an $8.73, 3.2 Willy Billy. It's not gonna be 3.2 miles because we're on the way back to the plaza. Man, it's been so long since I've said that. And lately, it's just been so slow that I just drop off an order, go back to the plaza. Get an order, drop it off, go back to the plaza. It's been, it's been rare that I actually get an order on the way to the plaza? Wild, bro. Now that's a stack, bro. Plus $8.69, nice, cents for 1.1 additional miles pyology. We're gonna take that. I'm pretty close to Willy Billy. It's actually, I gotta make one more turn, but I gotta put the camera down. I don't want people thinking that I'm recording them, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just kind of, uh, I'm just being a nice thing. But anyways, there's Willy Billy. Hopefully this order's ready, and then we'll be on our way to Pyology. Let's go. I just looked at the items for this Pyology order, and there are no drinks! Woo! Yeah! No drinks! <laughs> I freaking, cause man, at Pyology, they make you fill up the drinks yourself. It, it, it sucks. So we just ended up turning an $8 for one mile order, and into an $18 for two mile order, man. That is why I love Uber Eats, man. DoorDash could never do this, man. DoorDash would show you orders going for like eight miles for like $12, double order. Like you just can't do it on DoorDash, man. Uber Eats, man, Uber Eats is the way. Oh, Did I ever tell you guys the story of how I actually got pulled over on this street? So there was a cop sitting a little bit back at the apartment complex. I was speeding down this road, probably doing like 50 and the speed limit is 25. I got pulled over right, I think it was here. I don't know, I felt, I think I tried to like get away from him. <laughs> I didn't want to get a ticket. I think I stopped right there in front of this dude's house and uh, eventually he just told me, hey man, I'm gonna let you off with a warning because I was just getting off school, man. I had just finished exams. I wanted to go home. Um, I was speeding, don't get me wrong, I was going very, very fast. I was going, uh, you know, I was going double the speed limit. But uh, he let me off with a warning, so that was a really nice police officer. This is actually my first DoorDash order of dinner. We got some Miller's Ale House action. $7.50, 2.9 miles, three items. Not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. Let's go. What y'all think they got in this truck? I don't know. All right, it looks like we're going to shop at Walgreens. We got a $9.50 three mile six item, man. Six items is a lot of items, man. How you order six items? Wait, this might actually GPS me. No way, I know where to go. Look at this. <laughs> I really hope this is not a dead end. <laughs> All right, we're at the Walgreens. It's a bunch of kids things, so it shouldn't be that hard to find. <laughs> So the items didn't take me too long to find, even though there were six of them. What did take me a long time was the girl in front of me, man. She was beautiful, gorgeous girl, but she didn't have any money, bro. So it was like I was waiting for her to like get out of the way so I could pay for my order. She looked back at me like I was going to pay for her order, like, uh, lady, <laughs> no. Okay, I had absolutely no idea what I was supposed to do there. So it is kind of sprinkling. It's not full on raining, but she left a blue rolling basket thing like in the middle of the walkway. Surely she knew I was on the way, so she would have moved that if she wanted me to go up to her door. I don't know, that's that's really weird. That is that's really, really weird. I think this is gonna be the last order of the night. We got some chicken action. It was $6.72 for 3.3 miles but it ain't gonna be 3.3 miles because I'm not even back at the plaza and the Chick-fil-A is a little bit farther than the plaza anyway. So this should be like a two mile, maybe two and a half mile order. Let's go. Well, it could have been a less stressful pickup, but you know how Chick-fil-A is, man. Chick-fil-A is the epitome of a stressful pickup. So I'm on the way to the customer now, 2.2 miles away. And what's awesome is it's just gonna take me straight home. It's just gonna take me straight home. That's awesome, man. Let's go. 7.44 p.m. Stayed out a little bit longer. That was the last order we're going to be doing for the night. We did good. We actually did orders today. That's crazy. Like, Mushy Moo actually does orders? This has to be a fake video, man. I have to be in a different state. There's no way. Anyways, we are going to be ending with $128.01 penny. That $28.01 penny actually helps us out a bunch because yesterday we only ended up making, I think, $57. So $57 plus $28 is where we stand with yesterday because I just take the $28, subtract it, and then add it to uh, whatever day I don't make $100 on. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we can come out, make a little bit extra as well. I think we should because the Tropical Storm Fred is going to be coming towards Florida and uh, it's just going to be more and more rain 
and uh, drivers don't like driving in the rain, man. But your boy Mushy, I'm gonna be out here securing the bag. You know what it is. Anyways, I'm gonna go home now. Had a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the journey, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. Man, look at that rainbow right there. Y'all see that? Look at that rainbow right there. That's good luck right there, man. Y'all see that? That's good luck right there.